Okay, so Indiana Jones is finally done. Man, that was a lot of work. Um, you can see my before pictures. Uh, if you uh, go to my channel, go to the videos, and there's a one and two video. Uh, this thing was a mess, uh, more than I even thought. But So, new rad cow is installed. Um, this is cream soda uh, orange um, by Prismatic um, Paints, I believe. And uh, Michigan Pinball Refinery did it for me. Uh, black bolts, uh, gloss black gun with the custom grips. Uh, I think they were made in Australia. They're snake wood, super rare. I think those were like 120 bucks. Um, the gloss black door, new buttons. Pretty much everything on this thing is new. Um, I had to get a better lockdown bar, get that powdered. Uh, this was done in a gloss black. Uh, all the brass was sent off um, to get refinished. Uh, new stickers, same over here. All the bolts were powdered. This is the Elite Topper. Uh, mirrored back glass. And I got the Ruin mod on here. It's pretty awesome, this Ruin mod here. This is an uh, Invisic glass on it. All new LEDs throughout, touched up, everything cleaned. Um, this is a brand new ramp. I got a lot of stuff from Marco Pinball, probably seven shipments. Uh, they have great customer service. Can't rem uh, recommend them anymore here. Uh, see, Color DMD came with it. I, I bought a brand new three drop bank because mine was pretty broken up and wasn't working properly. Uh, there's the whole cover, but my hole was pretty good. Uh, put Cliffy's throw out. There's a Cliffy, Cliffy back there with the drop. New Titan rubbers, uh, everything was cleaned. Uh, new caps for those. I also rebuilt the pop bumpers because they were just bad. Uh, even new metal um, plates on the front and uh, Buddy riveted them on for me because I didn't have a rivet machine. Um, new plastic there because it was just fogged up. Uh, new lenses, because mine were the wrong color. Yellow, two greens. They had a, like a white here, and it was it was all mishmashed parts. Um, there's the clear rubber Titans. Um, the, one of the hardest things was I removed the Mylar back here. There's some there, and then the slings. Uh, upside down can of uh, um, air. It took one can. I popped four because the buddy said it'd take four, but it took one can um, to freeze them off and remove it and then put new down. That was kind of um, hard to do, but tedious getting the glue off. And then fix the shooter. Cliffy's installed. Mirrored blades on the sides. So this was stripped. So it took me four hours to get that off. Um, I even went as far as putting new bolts and nuts and stuff in the majority of these. Uh, the core, the flippers weren't working. So I rebuilt the whole thing. Still didn't work. So I put new coils in it. That still didn't fix it totally. So then I put new um, boards for the flipper buttons on the side and that finally fixed it. So um, as far as the inside, I had to get the uh, one board repaired, the flipper board that controls it up here. Um, 
my buddy had a used one, but it was like new, so I switched it out to that, and that worked a lot better. Uh, pin sound inside, sound system. So this thing has been totally a pain in the butt, but it is done. Um, about a $6,000 renovation here. And uh, plus the topper, that's not even including the topper. So um, turned out really well and I just love it. So next on the chopping block is restoring this bad boy, Whitewater, which I actually kind of like this game play better than the Indiana Jones. So uh, like, comment, share, and follow me on YouTube. Um, let me know which one do you like better, the Whitewater or the Indiana Jones?